interesting that, that Protestants and Catholics uh, who are opposed to the ordination of women recognize whether well, some Protestants are opposed to the ordination of women, uh, evangelicals realize Catholics, but they don't understand or re recognize that they're for very different reasons. So I've, I've had discussions with evangelicals uh, in my own church. Often there's a distinction between high church and low church, evangelical Anglicans or Anglo-Catholic Anglicans. Uh, and I've had evangelical Anglicans uh, try to disagree with me about the Catholic position. And I said, well, you know, I studied at Roman Catholic seminary. I know the position. Uh, Roman Catholics don't mind, for example, having women theologians teaching in seminaries. Evangelicals, at least presumably, who don't believe in the ordination of women, at least if they're following people like uh, Wayne Grudem, uh, the man who's written the most material in this area, uh, does not believe that women are allowed to teach in seminaries. Hmm. Um, although there are evangelical, many evangelical seminaries, places like Wheaton, where women do teach. Um, but I think Wheaton generally, you know, people, places like Wheaton would be more open to the ordination of women. And I wasn't aware that some of the conservative circles um, wouldn't even allow women to teach in seminaries. That seems like uh, even a bigger stretch because it yeah. seems like for me, the Pauline argument was like in churches specifically. Yeah. Well, um, and again, I can't speak. I'm not a member of one of those denominations, but uh, if you, Wayne Grudem himself, and he's a, the chief spokesman, he lays out things that women are and are not allowed to do. Uh, specifically, they they can teach children, uh, teenagers. Uh, he suggests that they could actually teach at a secular college or university, uh, but he specifically says that they should not be teaching in seminaries. Um, and again, that has to do with uh, the issue of authority to teach. For a woman theologian to teach a male student uh, would be presumably exercising authority in some sense over that student. There may be exceptions. Um, these are not my denominations, and mm -hmm. so I'm not sure how. Um, for, I mean, the, the one denomination that I be, would be aware of, Southern Baptists, for example, still do not ordain women. Uh, I'd be curious as to whether that would imply that uh, women could not teach at a place like uh, you know, Southern Baptist Seminary or OPC, Orthodox Presbyterians, uh, West, Westminster Seminary. Um, and I'll, yeah. I'll have to wait to hear if I hear from those people to find out. I mean, do they actually ag agree with Grudem on this? I, I don't know from experience. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if anything, Grudem's trying to be consistent. I mean, he's really taking that to the literal extent of men, sh women should not be teaching over a man. And that means like in every single case. So he's just trying to be consistent with that reading. I'm curious, like, how do you like because those passages, especially the the Protestant viewpoint of headship where Paul draws a lot from Genesis 2 and Eve being responsible for sinning. And how do you approach that argument in your, in your book? Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.